I'm here with Elmira College head baseball coach Corey Paluga. Uh, it's been a few months since we last spoke, so uh, what's new in the world of VC baseball? Uh, recruiting is still going, very active. Um, we've had 14 commits at this time, which is exciting. Uh, have a long list of students who have been admitted, uh, still have families that are visiting over the next several weeks. Uh, so it's a, it's a very exciting time now that a lot of the high school seasons are, are about to start or have already started. A lot of students and families are looking to make their decisions. So I can imagine you know, over the next several weeks we'll have more that will either choose EC or, or say that they're going to focus on their other options. So is there still time in the recruiting process for this year or what, what's the next step in the process for you? That part we're, we're still going to continue to recruit for the 2014 uh, class. We've already started contacting 2015 graduates, uh, letting them know that we want to follow them heading into the, the summertime and ask for, asking for their summer schedules uh, as we start to plan our, our travel schedule for tournaments and showcases. Um, you have a tentative schedule for your first season. Uh, a lot of road games to open up the year. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about that tentative schedule and where you're going to be playing the first couple months of baseball? We have 39 of our 40 games scheduled at this time. Uh, we'll open up in the, in the midterm break in February down in Virginia and play six or seven games down there and stay at a central location where we can travel to a lot of schools uh, and not have to worry about staying in various hotels. Uh, we'll open up our, our non-conference in the, in the region um, towards the middle of March. Uh, we'll play schools like Scranton, Marywood, State University Oneida, um, some other schools out towards Buffalo like Hilbert and Deuville. Uh, the conference schedule will begin the, the latter part of March and, and really go until the end of April. Um, our home conference games next year will be Houghton and, uh, and Utica. Um, yeah, you opening up against Utica, uh, it's going to be the home opener. Uh, excitement about it or just tell me a little bit about that and what your expectations are for you know, that very first game that's going to be played at Dunfield. It is exciting, the, the home opener that first weekend in April versus Utica. Uh, although we, we've at that point probably played 12 to 15 games, uh, to be the first home game for Elmira College will be a, exciting. Uh, we're hoping that we get a strong turnout from the community for the game. Uh, I know we want to uh, have a uh, ceremonial first pitch, uh, whether that be someone from our uh, direct college community or, or somebody who has a history with Elmira baseball, with uh, the minor league organizations that have been a part of, of the past. So it, it, it's shaping up to be a very exciting time, um, maybe depending on the weather, being able to play a game underneath the lights to hopefully draw more, more families to, to the game after, after school's out, after their, their working day's done. You've always been midway through a season at this point. What's been some of the challenges for you this year, not having a season to coach and do sort of the normal things that you've been able to do? What are some of the challenges, and um, what are some of the things that you have enjoyed about it? It has been challenging, uh, not being on a baseball field every day, uh, sitting in the office when, when typically you'd be out on a baseball field or, or even indoor practices, depending on the weather. Uh, it's, it, it tests your patience at times, but knowing that there is still so much to, to do to get ourselves ready uh, for our first fall next year, uh, the, it's still been exciting to follow college baseball online, watching live stats, watching video feeds of, of some colleges who offer that, uh, and even some of the audio feeds, you know, just having it uh, play in the background and, and hearing the sounds of the game is it's something you, you know it, you you still get excited about even if you you aren't uh, exactly there or on the field uh, coaching players. Uh, like I said, there there's still a lot to do now with with starting the the coach search and still continuing the recruiting that that you at times can can overlook the uh, the not being on the field regularly. And then <clears throat> just finally, uh, has there been any drawings or any sort of um, plans of what the new uniform or the very first Elmira College baseball uniform and hats and all that stuff. Is there any sort of idea of what those are going to look like? Yes, we, we have already started designs of uniforms and hats. Uh, we've met with administration and talked about what they're looking for also. Uh, we're looking to have a gold top and a purple top. 
also looking uh, to possibly have an alternate jersey, maybe where uh, we can use for uh, batting practice, infield, outfield, before games, uh, and then when we play doubleheaders, still be able to use it as a uniform with having numbers on it. Uh, hats, looking at a lot of different designs, whether it's uh, one solid color or doing uh, different color uh, brim, different color skull, maybe doing a different color front panel. Uh, so a lot of different varieties, which is nice having that flexibility uh, with the color schemes.